Porn stars of Reddit whose family or friends have found your work, what happened? A friend did some, paid, intimate shoot for a random guy she met online, depicting some weird fetish stuff. A few years later some guys in our circle found the pics in Is Anyone Up? The whole town heard about it, she was an almost celebrity for a month more for the weird kind of pictures they were, than for her being naked. I was driving Jenna Hayes around to morning radio shows in Orlando once before an appearance and signing at our store. The morning radio people kept trying to get a rise out of her to get something sensational for their listeners. One of them asked her do your parents know what you do for a living? She replied yes. What do they think about it? The DJ asked. Considering it paid for the house they are living in, they keep their opinions to themselves. Was all she said to that. Loved it, and it's true. Financial independence and success makes for familial bliss. I used to work with Stella Cox in a non-related job while I was working in the Czech Republic. She left the company and after some time a coworker tells me about her videos and I went to watch them. Weird boner. For my 21st birthday my friends kidnapped me and took me to a strip club. They knew I was in a committed relationship and would be uncomfortable, so my day was their excuse to go. Keep in mind I lived in a military town so clubs were everywhere. We walk in and the first person we see on the pole was a girl we graduated with. She immediately made eye contact with us, paused, and then just kept doing her thing. She then saw it as an opportunity to do more lap dances and talk three friends into one. Two dancers later, another girl we went to school with, grade lower, walked out on stage. Weirdest reunion ever. Not exactly a porn star, but a picture from a porn subreddit showed up on my front page. Looked at it and it was without a doubt a girl I knew in high school, but we hardly talked. I ended up ming her on Instagram and telling her that her nude might have been leaked and sent her the link. She thanked me and the next day her boyfriend messaged me thanking me for telling her and they were taking legal action. Edit. A few people have asked what legal action could you take against a Reddit post? As I understand it from my brief conversation with the boyfriend, they suspected who it was already, one of her exes or flings or something, and were going after them for revenge porn, which is illegal where I lived. And no, even if I still had the link, I don't, or saved the picture, I didn't, none of the weirdos asking for it would get it. I'm a best friend of a porn star we met in grad school actually, and we look like polar opposites, he's covered in tattoos and into the occult and stuff, I have very few visible tattoos and look nothing like my personality. We became instant friends and study buddies, attached at the hip. Early on in our friendship, when we started adding each other on social media, and I noticed something was different about him online, but I didn't think twice about it, because my online personality is pretty different than grad school personality. But he'd post some provocative pictures with his partner, but me being me, didn't think anything of it, even though a mutual friend kept pushing me to ask him what his deal was, but I never did. One day he accidentally sent me an email from his work account, which had his stage name he kinda freaked out, thinking I'd freak out and tried to explain it away. We had a study date the next day, and he told me about his side career with his partner, and admitted he thought I would have been judgmental about him and his lifestyle, but I honestly didn't care. After that, he'd share everything with me about shoots and getting tested etc etc. I've only looked him up once and he does some hardcore stuff, but as long as he's healthy and safe and happy doing what he's doing, he knows I got his back because he's always had mine. The most awkward thing was accidentally coming across one of his videos because yours truly has some kinky kinks and his video came up. His friendship is invaluable and I wouldn't trade it for the world. My fiancé did some softcore porn a while back. I once posted a picture of her and I together on Instagram, and a coworker insisted he knew her from somewhere. I told him she did some modeling and probably saw an ad she was in. Now he jokes around with me about being in a relationship with a model. My brother was a porn cameraman for several studios, does that count? He acts all ashamed and would never tell our religious family, but I don't give a shit. Make that money, bro. I do occasionally say back when you were poor and had to do porn for money to rib him, though. Had a hostess who was working for our restaurant a while back. One day the food runner was like hey do you guys know she was a porn star before and no one believed him until he showed us videos on his phone. 
Fast forward to a few days later and almost the whole restaurant knows about it from front of house to back of house because our manager decided to show the other shift managers a video of her in the office during the split shift. But the dipshit put the audio of the video into restaurant speakers and obviously everyone made their way into the office and lo and behold they saw everything. Fortunately said hostess wasn't scheduled that day so she didn't see it, but after that it was very awkward being around her for everyone that saw the video. The female staff would be less chatty than before, and as for the male staff, they were all looking at her literally like a piece of meat. Awkward situation for everyone. She eventually found out and quit. I'm generally very open about the fact I've done porn work. Most of what I do is very niche fetishy stuff, the sort of stuff you wouldn't find without very specifically looking for it, but I have also done some work on a couple of more mainstream, but still stylized sites. I've had a few friends who were already subscribers to that site who were surprised to see my shoots go up on there, but they've always been very respectful about it. Stripper, dancer, and have done several porn shoots. Content ended up online, and a co-worker let me know they saw me. Once stumbled across a video of a girl I worked with and we were all quite close. When we were alone, I asked her if she'd ever made a video, and she asked why. I told her I had stumbled across a video that looked remarkably like her. She looked at it and laughed, saying she had forgotten making that in college. Male porn actor here. I had a group of friends I'd been fairly close with for a couple of years. One day one of them texted me on FB saying we needed to talk, and it was urgent. I had a pretty good idea what was up. He let me know that the group had found out about me being in porn and were talking about it behind my back. He thought that wasn't cool, so he wanted to let me know what was happening. He also said he personally didn't care but other people did. I thanked him and reached out to another group member. Offered to talk in person about it, but he simply said he wasn't interested and he thought I was stupid for doing something that would damage my social reputation. I then noticed most of the others had quietly defriended me on Facebook. I lost the friendship with the guy who gave me the heads up as well, he's still a part of that group, and I didn't want to make things difficult or awkward for him. Now I'm kinda like fuck those guys, but for a while it kinda hurt. We had been friends, and yet they gossiped behind my back and didn't even bother listening to my side of the story. I know they watch porn regularly, we talked about it occasionally and shared favorites. I feel like, so you can watch it and enjoy it, but no respect for the people in it. In my daily internet journey of finding good porn, I stumbled on a solo video of a girl who looked familiar, and I just couldn't place her. I see her the next day at the gym, and I kid you not, I just realized I have been seeing her for almost over a year in that gym. I have never actually spoken to her or made contact, but damn she is hot. Edit. I found just found her stage name. I don't know the rules on sharing it though. Went to a friend's baby shower, and one of the cousins was accompanied by a date that I later saw on All P Hub. It was a Caribbean family event, so those who knew what she did in her spare time were giving the girl the stank eye. She was a nice girl though, I don't judge. Serious, X had some videos posted of her by one of her hookups. She was in a relationship with another guy and had been for three years. I saw one of the videos and texted her to see if she could get them removed before our grown sons saw them. She asked the current guy who was a lawyer if he could help. Two months later the lawyer commits suicide by shooting himself. Not sure if it was because of that or not. Never asked the ex and didn't want to know. Our high school valedictorian became a porn star. I had classes with her quite a bit as I was jamming myself with AP courses, and she's that quiet and smart type. I guess she went from jamming herself with AP courses to jamming big ol' dicks. Not gotta lie, I was quite a fan of hers. Had a family member announce her porn career to the family herself and asked for everyone's support. Needless to say it did not go well. Edit. For those saying the family should have been more sympathetic know this, she was a grown woman who had a daughter on the other side of the country that she abandoned for her career and who was raised by her father. So, no, the family was not okay with the news. A former co-worker of mine did some amateur stuff for San Diego Latinas. It was some of the crappiest porn I've ever seen, seriously not even a little bit sexy. And she's hot, but a total dead fish. Anyway, everyone in the office knew and seen the videos, and when arguing one day with another female employee, she was called out by her stage name and was told everyone knows, insert name. My brother's girl casual friend started an OnlyFans. 
it lasted about 48 hours and made $900 before her mum found out. Apparently she had announced it on Twitter Snapchat to all her friends after blocking excluding family members, but it still quickly found its way back to her mum, who promptly shut it down. I guess having 2,000 thirsty Facebook dude friends really does pay. I used to be a cam girl. One time, a viewer logged on and recognized me, so he proceeded to call me by my real name in the chat and ask how my boyfriend was doing. I acted like I had no clue who he was talking about, but I have a feeling some of my other fans knew better. It felt really invasive and could have put me in danger. I have no clue who it was to this day. Not me but someone I know of. There was this girl in high school who decided that one day to earn some extra cash that you would do a live cam girl service thing, and it just so happened that her brother found out a couple of days later when she did one of her next shows. She got the reputation at school for being a W and had to move schools, and from what I hear today, she moved schools twice before she found a place where no one knew of her cam girl situation. I've been graduated for two years now and kept in touch with her brother. From what I hear she's currently studying a degree in law. Serious answer. I have trained two porn actresses. One did a few bucket videos and the other did midstream porn. They both told me how it turned out. The bucket videos ruined a few relationships and a couple low-paying jobs. She actually bragged about the videos to me. She wasn't what I would call attractive. Also she was pregnant in one of the videos. The midstream girl was literally perfect. It definitely hurt her career. While performing on video under her stage, she also went to college to a performance car mechanic. Once certified no one really took her serious. After being a night delivery driver for a month, she went back to stripping. Best damn mechanic I have seen. My car overheated one night and she fixed it on the side of road while I held the flashlight. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Laters.